framing diagrams provide detailed information about individual structures used on transmission lines. Each diagram represents a structure or part of a structure. In addition, the diagram lists the parts used in the structure and gives their dimensions. Here is an example of a framing diagram for a portion of a support structure. The main part of a framing diagram is the illustration of the structure represented. The illustration shows exactly how the individual parts are connected to each other. It also shows what the structure will look like when it is completely assembled. Each part represented in the illustration is identified by its mark number. In most cases, several framing diagrams are required to adequately illustrate one structure. The first diagram of a set may show the entire structure. However, in order to show all portions of the structure in sufficient detail, each major portion of a structure is typically shown on a separate diagram. An essential aspect of framing diagrams is the presentation of alternate views of a structure. Since a framing diagram is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object, alternate views are necessary to show the structure from all possible viewing angles. For example, the arrow labeled B in this diagram points to the side of the crossarm closest to the top of the page. Above the crossarm drawing is a separate drawing labeled View B. This view shows what the crossarm would look like if viewed from the angle indicated by arrow B. Arrow C points to the side of the crossarm closest to the bottom of the page. View C shows what the crossarm looks like from angle C. Alternate views are very helpful during the initial assembly of a structure. The front view of the main drawing usually does not provide enough detail. 